Okay, so one thing uh, before we do the next one uh, that I should tell you is that you can figure out if you've got what we call uh, saturated hydrocarbons, okay? So these are hydrocarbons, right? Because they're only composed of carbon and hydrogen, okay? So that's a hydrocarbon. If you ever hear of that in the news or whatever, you know, that's what they're talking about. These are the things that you make gas out, you know, gasoline and fuels and stuff. Not these molecules in particular, but hydrocarbons in general. Um, but anyways, if you wanted to know what, if you've got a saturated hydrocarbon, the molecular formula is always going to be this, CnH2n plus 2. Okay? So, you can see that if we've got C4, right, this is going to be H2 times 4 plus 2, if it's a saturated hydrocarbon, right? So that's C4H2 times 4 is 10, or 8 plus 2 is 10, right? So, is everybody okay with figuring out the formula of a saturated hydrocarbon? Okay. So if you notice, that other formula that we were going to do is C4H8. Okay. So is that a saturated hydrocarbon? No, you already know that just because of the formula, okay? So I'm going to erase everything else except for that C4A, yeah? Are those two the same, like, because with ethanol and ether, we have, they were the same, like, structure, but we both those are the same thing? These are structural isomers as well, right? These are structural isomers as well, okay? They're, they are like, in that sense, dimethyl, ether, and ethanol. Okay, that they're different molecules, okay? So, this molecule, he's got the same atoms as that molecule, right? But he's laid out with all of his atoms in a line. You know, this one's got, like, one of his, you know, on his head. Wait, here, let's build these, you know, just to emphasize. Hopefully I brought enough service. Butane, right? Okay, so that's <coughs> that molecule there. Okay. So remember, how do we know if it's the same molecule or a different molecule? If we have to break bonds and then make up, okay? So if you need to build these models, do it, okay? Um, in fact, I'll let you bring the model kit on the test, okay? But um, anyways, so, can we twist this around anyway to make it? No, right? The other thing. So, let's try breaking bonds and reforming them. Break, break, reform, reform. Ah, that's a, the other molecule, huh? Do you guys see that? So, let's just point it out. Okay. So that's the bond line formula of the other, or the ball and stick model of the other bond line formula, right? So notice, this molecule, we could twist it around and do stuff like that, right? Those are called conformational isomers, and it's much easier to see if we do it with butane. Instead of isobutane, which is the other thing. Okay. So like, look. So 
we can do confirmation. Here, let's actually do that in a different video. Okay. So, are there any more questions on these structural isomers? These two. In fact, I wanted to get to the C4H8, but we turned it into a different video. So, we'll do that in a different video. Okay. That's totally cool. It was a good question. Any questions on that stuff?